In this Jira Basics video, I'm going to show you how you can actually create your own filters. It's actually really easy. Most of you are going to be seeing this new UI. On the left sidebar, you're going to have the filters. You're going to scroll all the way down until you see view all filters. Then you have this button right here that says create a filter. Now, two ways of creating your filters. You can use the basic one, actually three ways. You can use the bas basic one. You can use, if you're advanced user, you can use the JQL or you can use the AI. So let's go with the basic first. So I can say, for example, the project mobile dev, I can go with the assignee. So for the assignee, I have also like the suggested users. I'm gonna delete this filter that it's saying that it's saying this one. Let me see. And now it's it's telling me that basically there are no filters in here. Now what else I can do? Well, I can order issues by when it was created, what was the key, and so on. All right, so that's for mobile dev. You can also go for customer support. So that's the thing. You can also define the standard issue types and also you have the subtask issue types. So you can filter that as well. You also have, let's say, all of the down statuses and basically that's it. You, you click on create a filter and I'm going to say, for example, down statuses. All right, by default, it's private and you can only see this filter. But if you actually want to expand this, you can say that this can be seen by the project for the customer support. I'd say only the administrators can actually see this. For the editors, there is also option to go to give this editing for project or a group user or actually to have this in private so I can select group and I can say, well, this is going to be for the administrators. Hit save and the filter has actually been created. When you create your filtering here, it automatically will be shown as the start filter. So that is one thing to know. Okay, moving on, creating with the JQL. Yeah, creation with the JQL can actually be pretty interesting, but it requires for you to, well, know your way around the JQL. All right, so let us go with the JQL and let's make some of them. So first of all, I'm going to say project equals to. I'm going to select plat, platform development. And now I have some options in here. So I can say and... And from here, I can say something like status category equals to, to do. Yeah. And I can say and issue type equals to task. There we go. So this is one simple query that you can actually well define and I go and there we go. So it's giving me now what I chose, what I've chosen the status category of to do, because in Jira, you have three status categories to do in progress done for to do status category. Basically all the, the statuses that are in gray are to do status category or all of the statuses that are in blue are actually of the status category of in progress. All of the uh, statuses that are within the green status is within the status category of done. And that's it. Uh, I can save the filter. I can say now tasks, and I want this to be only for me. And also, I have the option to go with the AI and I can say find issues that 
were updated in the last third and that have comments on them. So you can go with this. And now it's gonna give you this query right here, defining and saying, okay, what's going on and oh, actually telling the query. Now, you might ask yourself, well, is this something that is, um, you might ask, probably is, but sometimes, you, you know, the AI can actually make some of the mistakes. But as far as I know, the Atlassian intelligence has a lot of percentage of being correct. So, yeah, the another thing that you can also do is you can say this is a copy and I can say AI filter and click on save. But overall, that is how you create filters. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.